So on top of that, right, so we also continue to innovate in our AI models so that we can uh, provide our developers and enterprise customers with uh, strong AI capabilities. So over the past years, we have released our Queen family, right? So the Tongyi model families. So we have two foundation models families. One is called Tongyi Qianwen Queen, that's the large language model. The other is called Tongyi Wan Xiang. Uh, this is kind of the video generation uh, uh, foundation models. Right? On top of that, we provide different kind of applications. And more importantly, we provide the model studio for you to integrate such a AI capability into your applications. So I will go through one by one. So first is about our Tong Yi Chen Wen Queen models. So if you uh, browse the web, if you go to the Hugging Face, you, you will notice the Queen name actually immediately because the Queen right now is one of the uh, leading open source models in the world, right? and particularly extremely popular on the Hugging Face. So we have released the Queen 2 um, in, in, in last July, just a little more than two months ago. right? In fact, this model enjoyed uh, a tremendous kind of the popularities. And Hacking Face has ranked our models as the number one open source model in the world. Right? And, and also, we're also happy to see the ecosystem is continue to develop. Right? So the number of the derived model based on the queen has reached 50,000. Right? In fact, this is just behind the Nama model families. Right? So this is the the second largest model ecosystem in the world. So over the years, and, uh, and just we open sourced, we started to open source the, the, the families and the model family last year. But within the year, there's, om, there's more than like 40 million downloads. Right? This just to showcase the strong uh, popularities among the, the global uh, developer communities. <coughs> so in this. Um, Actually, computing conference. We just released that uh, we will uh, release the uh, Quen 2.5. Right, this is the most powerful open source model on the market so far. In fact, this time we increase our uh, model families, starting from very small models, the 0.5 billion parameters, to the largest model, the 72 billion parameters. So there's a lot of the like the technical innovations behind it, right? Um, but I won't be. I won't go through one by one. But most importantly, this Queen two families, right? Queen two point five families support the multi language, right? So in fact, the multilingual support is the strong, uh, actually the, the strength for the Queen model families. So besides the Chinese and and English, it also supports like twenty nine other languages, particularly in like the Europe and um, also Middle East and also the uh, Southeast Asia. So if you are uh, so working on the international space, and then this is the very popular kind of the choice for the developers. In fact, it's already enjoying such popularities. And we have received a lot of the positive the feedbacks. Right, so in addition to the open source model, we also have our flagship models that's called Queen Max. Right, this one is even stronger uh, capabilities. Right, so with the larger size, larger the more parameters, and we train with more data set and has a better uh, human alignment. So it's being more intelligent. Right, so today we also the uh, offer the Queen Max model through the API, and uh, you can use it through the our model studio. So besides the, uh, uh, the, the large language model, we also extend it to support the, uh, the multi-modalities. Right? So particularly, we have a Quinn uh, VL. This is the kind of the uh, large language model for vision understanding. So it can understand different kind of the image or videos. And you can even talk to them and, and interact with them. And in fact, this uh, Quinn well, uh, VL models is ranked very high. Uh, around the world. Yeah, the second one is uh, for the large language mode for audio analysis, right? So we extend the, the model's capability to understand the, the, the voice, right? Regardless of whether it's a speech or other like audio signals, right? And, and then the model can understand and the, the background noise of this fan particularly, right? And can also understand 
the all the natural sound and then can really have the listening capabilities. So far, the the Tongyi Chen Wen, the Quan is the large language model family. There's another model, foundation model family is called Tongyi Wan Xiang, right? Wanx, right? The Wanx is is very uh, capable in generating the in imagery or videos, right? In the past, that we often we we uh, uh, release the model to support the text to images, right? So we uh, this time that we enhanced the, the such an offering, right? To support like the the better understanding of the sem semantics and have a better control, and this is the benefit from integrating with our Queen models, and we also have uh, we upgraded our infrastructure, uh, the the, uh, the model architectures to support the diffusion transformers, and the result is we can generate more uh, vivid image with the greater details. And besides generating images, we can also generate videos, right? So. In fact, this is kind of the brand new on models that we just release, right? And uh, we can support like uh, uh, long videos that up to 20 seconds, right? Can generate in a lot of the vivid videos based on your uh, descriptions and can have uh, combined the, the motion and the concept and all together and show you different kind of the uh, styles, right? And such models, right? So when we talk about the Tongyi Wanks, right? When we talk about the text to image, text to video, one of the interesting applications is how to generate your marketing uh, contents. Right? So we have seen a lot of kind of the customers they using such models, right, and to generate a very uh, eye-catching kind of the marketing slide, right. Also to um, to, to enhance the demonstration capabilities and to in increase the uh, uh, the visibility of their contents. So such models are also very popular. All right, uh, right. So next, um, so once we talk about the foundation model, the most important thing is how can you leverage that, right? So uh, that's why we call the uh, we develop the model studio. Uh, this is kind of a very important applications or, or the, the platforms for you to apply the models. Uh, to to better to fit your business need, so there are two, several scenarios. The first scenario is the model service, right? So so far there's so many models available on the market, right? In fact, we talked about getting the service running. It's not an easy thing, right? It's required the GPU resource, it required like the resource management, required like a lot of the tuning, right? So and also you have a huge number of the choice, uh, the different kind of the models. And sometimes, and picking the right models and then the getting them loaded up and starting to integrate your app with your application is a non-trivial thing. And with the model studio, we can provide a very flexible and efficient and user-friendly API service. Right? So everything is uh, very friendly. You can just uh, register the API key, and immediately you can use your Python to call the the models, can interact with models. So it's such a so it, it, it tremendously lowered the bar of the using the model in your applications. <coughs> and um, we also understand that the choosing the right model has become very complex, right? So they have so many choices, and we try to simplify the product offering for you, right? So that's why we particularly recommend that the two feature models, one is called Quinn Plus, with this very strong inference capabilities, right? It's a very Powerful with a reasoning, with a different kind of logic built inside, and support many complex tasks. We also have a Queen Turbo, which is designed to uh, to to provide the fast and low cost solutions uh, for our developer as well. So we believe that the, such a two offerings can covering uh, probably 80 percent or 90 percent of the usage scenario, and can simplify the choice of the models. Um, the selection of the models and in your applications. So once we have the models, now integrating into your application or business scenarios, it does require the careful planning and also the careful design, right? For instance, uh, sometimes you need to do the prompt engineering and you need to do a better optimization there and uh, the, our product, our platform can help you to, to do that very efficiently. And also, sometimes you have your local data set you like to integrate, and we have the REC support. This is retrieval 
um, augmented generation, and we can provide a very secure uh, environment for to, to store, to analyze your data set, and can integrate your local knowledge, local information with the model's capabilities, and can streamline the applications in your particular domain. And finally, sometimes you also need to fine-tune fine the model, right? If you found that actually prompt engineering or maybe even direct does not satisfy all the requirements, if you have a very high-quality data set, you can also do fine-tuning, right? And in order to support that, we provide different kind of the training data set, right? We also provide the capability of the fine-tune the multimodal models, right? So such capabilities allow you to uh, tailor the models to to meet your particular business need. So once you uh, have, have done that, uh, we also understand actually to build in such applications, sometimes it's tedious, it requires multiple steps, right? So and it's, it does require kind of workflow design. So we provide the different kind of orchestrations for workflow. And one way you can have your SOP and you can, you can just orchestrate um, your workflow and as, as you plan your pipeline, you can do prompt engineering, you can do rag, you can do uh, like a fine tuning later on, right? You can design that. You can just using uh, that, that drag and, the, and then draw kind of the capabilities of the platform to quickly to build up your pipeline. The other capability is using agent, right? So we also support uh, complex agent and allow you to customize the model usage and uh, even to break your a break a complex task into the small one and letting the individual task can be, uh, can be fulfilled or can be uh, completed by the large language model. So we have a very strong kind of agent orchestrations as well. So finally, so after you build your applications, you put it on, online and start it to uh, serve and your customers and now you still need a very uh, st strong capability to uh, continue to observe the, the platform, all right, to understand how the applications perform. So in order to do that, we provide the different kind of instrumentations allow you to do online analysis, how your application perform, right? Whether you is doing a good job or whether it's the user like it, whether they have like a negative feedback or positive like a, uh, rec uh, recommendations, and we can collect them for you, right? With such information, you can continue to do model evaluate, right? You can uh, continue to improve your models, right? So we understand that, that actually getting the AI applications running, sometimes it just is, uh, you need to continue to improve. And with such kind of instrumentations, allow you to continue to observe your platform, to understand uh, the areas for improvement, and so that you can provide the better experience for your customers. So, so far, our, actually, the model family, the model studio has been extremely popular in China and, and also around the world. And today, we are serving more than uh, 30,000 uh, customers around the globe. And, and they're all using the model studio and using our foundation models and to, uh, to, 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 to satisfy, to, uh, to deal with their business applications. So, um, so far, with the AI infrastructures, AI model capabilities, now, I think hopefully you can see the Alibaba Cloud. We provide uh, a global infrastructures and the services for all the AI applications. On one side, we have a global infrastructures. We have data centers around the globe, so can help you to uh, meet your business demand. And at the same time, we have a, a full stack kind of the technologies, right? And particularly tailored for the AI applications. And we continue to innovate in that space and continue to leading the, the, the technology development in that space, right? So hopefully that we, uh, we are also very open, right? So we open source our models, and so that you can have no concern about using it, right? You, and you always can find a kind of developer communities around our models, right? There's a huge kind of like developer communities can help you to resolve any issue you might met uh, during, the, during the development process. So this is the, there's a strong community support. So hopefully that I uh, convince you that Alibaba Cloud is the uh, areas for you, uh, is the AI place for you to do business.
Right, so hopefully that we can collaborate further. Thank you all.